Earlier this season, Rick Hopper made a deal with Lori for his magnetic holder for glasses. I'll get this on TV. I'll make you a millionaire. Lori, you got a deal. I'd love to do this. Winston Edmondson here at the corporate headquarters of Reader Rest with the inventor of Reader Rest, Rick Hopper. Rick, appreciate you being with us. Thank you very much, Winston. Good to meet you. Now, first I got I got to ask you a question because I, I let some people know that I was going to be visiting with you, and they wanted me to let you know that you really are a hero to a lot of guys out there. Kind of the, the everyman, the success story of the everyman. How does that How does that strike you? I don't see myself that, but I've been accused of uh, of being a little extraordinary only because I get lucky. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how much luck has to do with maybe maybe perseverance, but we'll talk about that. I'm here because there's a, an event coming up. Uh, you've probably heard about it. We've been talking about it a lot. Uh, Melanie Neal has, has been putting this together. The uh, no, what, what is the official name for this? Uh, I think we decided on from idea to money. I like that. Because everyone has an idea, right? It's that money part that eludes so many people. Every day people approach me. And uh, they know who, they know what I did, uh, and they're like, "Rick, I have an idea. I got this. I I just I got this idea to solve a problem, and I need your help." And every day, everybody I talk to comes at me with, "I have an idea," and so it's just very few people can actually go from idea to money. It's it's just not easy. You know, one of the things that uh, I found unusual or kind of surprised me is that once we put this information out there and, and people were aware of the event. Probably the, the group that I've gotten the most emails from have been stay-at-home moms that uh, are at home. You know how resourceful stay-at-home moms have to be. They're the backbone of the country. I love, I love stay-at-home moms. But they're excited because as they're at home, they've got ideas. They, they've got uh, ways that, that they're solving their own problems, and they think what they're doing could be useful to a lot of people. And they're excited about you getting up to talk. So I want to find out from you. Is that a good group that you would you would anticipate to come? And, and who else uh, should should come and, and make sure they're the front row uh, when you speak? I'm not surprised to hear it. Uh, I'm married to one, a uh, stay-at-home mom. Uh, she's been doing it for a long time. She's very good at it. And uh, but that's not the only group. It's uh, I'm not kidding. At high school kids ha- have approached me. Uh, people in their 60s and 70s, and people that you would think that have made it in life and that they're done trying. They're not. They're, they're, I meet people every day that are just on fire about uh, the creative uh, thought process. And uh, they have a problem that isn't solved yet. It's, you think, here, it's 2013. Everything's done, right? <laughs> it's just, it's just it's not done. And um, stay-at-home moms are, are a great opportunity for uh, – or this is a great opportunity for stay-at-home moms to uh, come and hear some secrets about – uh, and some ideas and attitudes that need a, just a slight adjustment in their life for them to become not just passionate and willing, but capable of taking their idea someplace other than where it is right now. 